Hello my lovelies, welcome back. In today's video I'm doing this boring dancing makeup look. Yes, it is a bit of a two part video. I uploaded the hair section last Friday night, so let's get straight into the makeup section. So I'm starting off this makeup look with my brows already on. I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate because this one is water resistant. I'm also priming my lids with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC because this one also is really long wearing. It makes your eyeshadows more vibrant and prevents them from creasing. And lastly, setting that with a shadow. So now it's time to get creative people using a really fine eyeshadow brush and taking my black eyeshadow. I'm just starting to map out the shape of the black. So I'm filling in the outside corner and I'm taking it up as if I was doing a wing eyeliner. Now what I'm doing is bringing it back across going just above the crease of my eye or just above the socket and I'm really gently tracing it right in towards the nose. And as you can see, bringing it right in towards the nose really elongates the eye. Now I'm taking the hot pink shade out of the same palette, which I forgot to mention is the Huda Beauty palette. And I'm using the hot pink to blend out the black. And the next shade I'm picking up is the really soft pink to blend out the hot pink. So there's a really beautiful gradient. Time to move on to the pop of color in the center of the lid and I've chosen this yellow gold loose pigment by Napoleon and I just wet my brush with some water. Wouldn't recommend using water, it didn't stay very well so I definitely use some kind of setting spray to dampen your brush. And as you can see, I'm just pressing this right into the mobile lid. I now wanted to add a hint of more metallic glitter sparkle so I used a silver glitter to go right over the top and blend it out. And now that we've got all of our colors laid down in place where we want them, it's time to just intensify each color and make sure it's all nice and blended. So I'm going in and doing that now with the black and then I'm adding a little bit more of the hot pink. Now it's time to highlight the brow bone. I've mixed Bay and Moondust from the same Huda Beauty palette and moving on to my MAC Fluid Line with my Napoleon G5 brush. It's now time for a quick coat of mascara and of course a double set of lashes. I would never do a boring dancing look without a super intense set of lashes. And then I'm going back over the top with a liquid liner to conceal any glitter and the lash band of course. And now it's time to wipe away any bits of fallout on the face. I'm not a huge fan of these Garnier Micellar Wipes, although I do love the Micellar Cleansing Water. Yay! This makes me so happy, this shopping bag, oh my god. <laughs> Using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Jumbo Primer, this is my favorite primer of all time. It's so amazing, it keeps me matte, and it's really, really long wearing. And I'm going in with a good old trusty fave foundation, the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Gosh, I forgot how good this stuff was. The coverage is absolutely unreal. I'm just using a really tiny brush to get in around my brows. Time to hit the face with some cream contouring and chisel like no other. I'm using the NYX Cream Contour Palette. I think this is the first time me using this on camera. I really like this contour. It's really creamy, it's dark, and it's easy to blend. So you've all seen me do cream contouring before. I think the main tip is just to use a really small brush. So if you make a mistake, it's um, you haven't applied too much product to begin with. And now moving on to the cream highlight and no, not a fan. It's really thick, it's quite dry and you need a lot of product to um, actually make an impact and the color of it isn't light enough in my opinion. So I'm still using the product but I am gonna build up with some other products over the top. We'll try the Prep and Prime in Light Boost and this is more what I'm looking for. You can see there's a huge color difference there. It actually does make an impact in the contrasting. So now I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm blending out the highlights first. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm taking my thermal spring water onto a Napoleon contour brush and I'm going to blend out the contours. And I'm dampening an eyeshadow brush again to blend out my nose contour simply because obviously the brush fits the space a lot better. So that's half of our contouring done. It's now time to set over the top with the powders. So I've chosen the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep to set over my contour. And this step is really, really important, taking a light colored bronzer and blending out your contour. So it fuses into the foundation and it's not so stark and there's no harsh lines. And once that's all blended out, I'm now going to conceal my under eyes because all I did was highlight and I didn't take it right up to my lash line. So I'm gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender and I'm applying my Laura Mercier Secret Translucent, oh no, 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 my Laura Mercier um, Translucent Powder, so this is not the Secret Translucent, and I'm setting my uh, highlight and I'm doing a little bit of bakage as well. I left that on for about 10 to 15 seconds and then wiped it off with a clean blush brush. Now using that same blush brush, I'm going to go in and do my blush. I've used, oh hello handsome. I've used uh, Napoleon flushing to add a little bit of a nice flush peachy tone. Oh my god, stop flirting with me. I'm engaged. Gross. <laughs> a nice peachy tone right to the apples of my cheeks. And this help bl uh, blends out your contour as well and it makes a really smooth transition. It's hard to do a contour without adding a blush. It just looks really stark. Okay, so now it's time to go under the eyes, going back into that same hot pink and really smudging it out. Don't be scared to take it downtown and go quite low. Using this gold to really highlight the inner section and holy guacamole, <laughs> it's really intense, but I kind of love it. I just really blended it out. It's ballroom dancing. You can't really be too dramatic. Just taking a brush to make sure that there's no fallout and that it is quite blended and even on both sides before we move into the black and really smudge that under the lash line. And then I'm gonna take my black gel liner to tight line and line the inner waterline. And I'm forever dusting this fallout away. I should have definitely used some kind of setting spray to apply it or glitter glue. But anyway, moving right along, Rachel, get over it. You make these mistakes in life. I'm doing my lips now with a dark plum lip liner and a bright peachy lipstick. This does make your lips stand out more from the dance floor. And this is a technique that many ballroom dancers do use. It just looks better on the competition floor. And lastly, I am highlighting with the Soft and Gentle Highlight by MAC and using my Thermal Spring Water just to intensify it and dampen my brush. And don't forget to apply the same highlight to the tip of your nose and your cupid's bow just to balance out your face. I always like to give my lashes one more last lift just with my fingers to make sure they're really lifted. And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Friday night. Bye-bye.